Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a couple of comics that I picked up recently while visiting one of my local comic shops, and then I'm also going to open up a piece of art that I actually purchased from a subscriber. With that, let's go ahead and take a look at the stack of books that are sitting in front of me. The first one is a really cool Alex Ross cover. This is Immortal Hulk number 31, and he is looking a whole lot like the Red Hulk right here on this cover, uh, but definitely a really cool uh, series that I think most of you are have already, uh, you know, either you're picking it up or you're kind of reading it, and at a minimum, you are familiar with it. Here is a Venom number 23. I think I actually showed this book recently in another haul video, but I pick up books from two different comic shops, so sometimes there's a little bit of a lag on one of them. Uh, this book right here, Amazing Spider-Man 39, again, a book that I probably recently showed, but I did pick up some really cool stuff. Wolverine number one, and I am so looking forward to reading this book later tonight. Uh, Marvel just does not learn. Marvel does not learn. They have continued to put these really large comics in the exact same format uh, as like a, a smaller comic, which results in these crazy bindery tears. Every single copy of this comic that I picked up and every single shop had bindery tears. And it's just, I don't understand. I really don't understand why for $7.99, they cannot give me a square bound comic. It, it is, it's tough, but I guess the bright side is if I ever were to send these books into CGC, CGC understands that they actually make allowances for bindery tears because they recognize that publishers like Marvel don't necessarily do what they're supposed to do. But nevertheless, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous cover featuring Wolverine and a Sentinel. Absolutely love this cover. Here is, uh, and that, that is a variant. And then this is issue number one, gorgeous red cover. This thing, this thing is fierce. This is a fierce cover. I, I, I dig this one. I dig nothing but claws and butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> and then here is another uh, variant that I had to pick up. Uh, I, I think many of you have probably seen this one online. Really, really cool cover right there. Green cover. Not something that you see all that often, but definitely a gorgeous one right there. And then I have two more books. This is Marauders number eight, and I believe that they find Kitty Pride in this one. Have not read it. Looking forward to reading it because I want to know what happened to Kitty. And then the very last book in this stack before we get to the envelope off to my side is this one right here. Newsstand copy of the West Coast Avengers. This is a 20th anniversary cover. Uh, West Coast Avengers number 14 featuring Hawkeye. Really, really cool book. I recently saw somebody that actually completed their run of these 25th anniversaries. I was somewhat inspired by that post that I saw on Instagram. I was digging through uh, uh, long boxes earlier today. I saw this book. I turned to the shop owner and I said, this is coming home with dad. So <laughs> I had to bring it home. If I find the others in the wild, I'll probably pick them up because again, it's kind of cool. It's a kind of cool piece of history. I have... Um, Maybe maybe a handful of them now, but again, that have that handful accidentally picking them up. And so if I make it uh, more purposeful, then more than likely I will find a way to finish off that run. So in uh, my hands right now is something that is fragile. And this is actually a piece of artwork that I picked up from a subscriber by the name of Matthew. And uh, if you if you are, have ever been in one of my chats, you have probably seen uh, Matthew in the chat. He is a 16 year old that actually doesn't live that far from me. But uh, Matthew is a really cool subscriber of the channel and uh, from time to time sends me email messages and things like that. And uh, one day he sent me a, a email message featuring uh, some artwork that he had created. And uh, I thought it was a really compelling piece of art. 
and I ended up reaching out to him asking if he could part with the artwork and he said that he could so I was able to make him what I think is, is a pretty fair deal for his art and uh, he bundled it up and, uh, and sent it out to me. So we're gonna get our first actual look at this as soon as I uh, cut through the painter's tape here, try not to cut the artwork. But we'll cut the painter's tape and then we will see what is inside. So he uh, put it in some saran wrap and sealed it in there. So we'll get this uh, tape and wrap removed. And uh, this thing is really cool. This is really cool. And I think he tossed in a couple of additional things for me, which is always, always a nice gesture when someone throws in a freebie. So uh, what was really cool about this is that it is, um, the artwork features a couple of Spider-Man villains. And you guys know that I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. And so I saw it and again, had to have the piece. So we'll get it out here. And uh, this is cool. This is a cool piece. So this is basically a uh, split screen of Green Goblin and Hobgoblin. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool piece of artwork. Uh, and Matthew, if I did not mention, is 16 years old and has a tremendous amount of talent. Talent that I do not have. So whenever I see someone that has some talent like this, I try to support it as best I can. So Matthew, if you're watching this video, which I know that you are, I want to say thank you for agreeing to, uh, to part with your awesome artwork. And it is going to go in my art book back over in the corner over there. And uh, he also sent a couple of other things. That's a really cool, that's a really cool black Spider-Man right there. That's cool. That is well done. I could not draw that. I I just, I don't have the talent for that. That is cool. And then he also sent me Morbius. How cool is that? That is really cool. Talented dude, man. If you guys, I, I, I don't know if you guys are reading the current run of Morbius. It's actually pretty good. It's actually a pretty good series. Um, and he signed all of these for me. Very, very cool. So there you go. That is essentially... Uh, my haul of comics from the local comic shop, as well as a little haul of some original artwork as well. So I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I want to encourage you to give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment behind so we can mix it up in the comment section. And if you need to reach out to me, you can do that as well. And you can hit me on Instagram at Reggie Collects, or you can send me an email to Reggie at ReggieCollects.com. And if you're feeling frisky, make sure you visit the website ReggieCollects.com. Take care.